Oh, I didn't see you guys there. Huh? What's up? Yo, so, how's it going, bruh? I haven't seen you guys in a very long time. I don't even know how long ago I saw you guys, but it was very long ago. But I'm back. Possibly. I don't know if I'm gonna keep continuing making videos, but I thought, um, I wanna make just one more video before I go, because, like, a lot of you don't know that I said I'm going to quit, and I don't know if I am going to quit YouTube, but I feel like making one more video is necessary, like, I have to do it, like, I can't just leave you guys with, like, nothing. So, today, I'm reviewing, wrong button. I'm reviewing this, the Nugget X menu, Nugget X menu, that's what I'm reviewing today, right now, so I hope you enjoy the video. So first off, we have joined the Discord, which joins the Discord of the menus creator, we have settings, and we're going there now. So we have the disconnect button, which you click a button and you disconnect from the server you are in, disable notifications. So those notifications right there that you just saw, they get disabled, so it won't, you won't see them again. Clear notifications, if there's too many notifications, your PC might like get a bit laggy, so you just clear notifications and the lag will go away. We have wrist menu, which means it's, uh, it's on your wrist. If you don't do it, it'll be like in front of your face, and I don't really like that, so I'm glad this is enabled uh, automatically. We have right hand menu, which just means it's going to be on your right hand. We have theme changer, it changes the theme. We have change time, which um, change time just changes the time of the time in game, so you can change it tonight and you can change it today. So yeah. Then we have return to page. We have safety mods. Oh, and also, like, I'm pretty sure most of these mods are undetected. So, anti-report, it's just an anti-report. Q anti-report, it queues anti-reports, and if you want to know what that means, um, I don't know. We have leaderboard name spoof, so it just changes your name, I'm pretty sure. We have no name, which means you won't have a name. Flush RPCs, basically all the notifications, you flush them away. And I think also the reports get flushed. Disable fingers, you, your fingers won't work anymore. Check if master, it checks if you are the master of a server. So, you are master, it will say you are. If you aren't, it probably, it will probably say it won't. Disable all mods, disables all the mods, and that's all the mods on this. Then we have room mods. Quit game, quits the game, disconnect, disconnects. X to disconnect, you click, the, you click the X button on your controller to disconnect. Disable network triggers, basically when you go into a new map, you load into another lobby. But if you do this, you won't get loaded into another lobby when you go into another map. Grab all IDs, basically means everybody in the game's IDs, you will grab them. Player mods, ghost monkey. So you can walk around yourself as a ghost by clicking A of course. We have invisible monkey, you turn invisible as you can see. Then we have ghost and invisibility so you change into a ghost and you turn invisible. Don't know how you can make yourself appear but yeah. Oh that's how. Oh so you have... Okay that's cool. So if you click, I think this is B, if you click B you go invisible, and if you click B again, if you click A, it's ghost. So that is, that's pretty cool actually. We have ghost fly, you just have to press trigger and you'll go invisible, and wherever you look, your model will go flying. We have freeze rig, it just freezes your rig. So this is how it looks, wait. So this is how it looks, it just freezes your rigs rig where you were like this as you can see so that's pretty cool long arms it's just long arms normal steam vr long arms longer arms your arms are even longer 
If you're going to use this in a public lobby, make sure anti-report is on. We have Gritty. This is how Gritty looks. Yeah, so you're just Gritty. Extremely goofy. Then we have Tag All. You press you press trigger and everyone in the lobby gets tagged. Tag self, you press trigger and you yourself get tagged. Tag gun, you hold in, um, I don't remember what this is, but you hold in this one and then trigger to tag people if you are already tagged. Flick tag, wherever this is pointed, you press trigger and your arm will flick to that point. Tag aura, um, there's an aura around you that if some people are around they will get tagged size changer you go bigger with this one and smaller with this one we have helicopter monkey yeah that's just crazy then we have beyblade monkey you turn into a beyblade cool stuff then we have spaz monkey, it spazzes you out and you can't actually stop it unless you click it again, so yeah, that's spaz monkey. Then we have teleport gun, you can teleport anywhere with this. We have rig gun, it's going to shoot your rig there, so yeah. We have chase gun, you chase people I'm guessing, I'm not really sure what this one does. Orbit gun. Also not sure what this does. Spin head, it spins your head. We have a backwards head. Your head is just backwards, as you guys can see. We have flip head, so your head is under you. It's like, yeah, it's like that. That's how your head will look. Upside down head, basically. We have snap neck, your neck is snapped. So you can, you can definitely troll with this. We have a fake lag gun. So it just fakes you lagging. Okay, so you just press it once, you don't have to hold it in and it fakes fake lags. And then you can press it again. Um, it's A by the way. You can press it again and then it will stop. We have a fake quest menu. So basically, if you're on quest and you press like the home button, um, this is what happens. But that doesn't happen with Steam. But with this menu, if you click that, uh, if you click that, that's what's gonna happen. So that's pretty cool. We have T-Pose, it, it's just you T-Posing. So we have platforms, just good old platforms. Then we have sticky platforms. Uh, you press, you don't press trigger, you press this one, I forgot what it's called though. But you press this and it's sticky platforms, you can't really get off. We have sticky plat platforms, but for trigger. We have invisible platforms, just normal platforms, but invisible, but with this button. Then we have invisible platforms for trigger. No clip. Uh, you press a button to no clip, but I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to fall through the map, obviously. And there's no clip for the button B. We have throw zone. It's just you freeze a path. So you can probably, so you can probably like fly up there and then you can throw zone down. Pretty cool. We have slow fly, so you fly slow by pressing A. But then we also have regular fly. This one is also not too bad. Velocity fly. Um, well, you get you get faster as you fly up and down. So with right trigger you go up, with left trigger you go down. Speed boost. It's just a normal speed boost and competitive boost. I think it's speed boost, but it's just a bit slower so people won't realize it. Play space. I'm not sure what play space does. It does dash you forward, I guess. We have dash. So if you press A, you dash just a bit. So you can do this while doing this and you'll probably go fast. You'll go pretty far. We have air jump. It's just uh, um, basically a double jump. But you can do it like infinitely. We have no slip. So on slippery surfaces you don't slip. Slide control. It just controls. You can control your slide. Low gravity. So when you jump there's lower gravity. 
high gravity and you jump there's high gravity checkpoint you press right grip to leave a checkpoint and then you go away and if, if you want to teleport you press trigger and you teleport to there place c4 you press right grip to place it and you press trigger and it it, it explodes wall walk i'm pretty sure it just makes you it magnetizes you to a wall a stronger wall wall walk so it magnetizes you much better weaker wall walk it's weaker we have car monkey you just you just go forward as if you're in a car we have fast swim you swim faster deep into stump you go into stump when you do that and no tag freeze you have no tag freeze then we have visual mods we have full body esp so you can see people's bodies through walls skeleton esp you see their skeleton box esp um it's people but they're in a box 3d box esp uh, it's like a 3d box and 2d it's just a 2b 2d box tracers so it will be on your hand and it will go to every single one every single person first person camera it's just like first person camera this is third person and this is first person we have bad graphics it's turn your graphics bad and break light lighting it breaks the lighting we have fun mods we have web shooters so with trigger you can shoot webs And this is pretty fun actually. Oh no. This is crazy. This is actually so fun. We have water bender so you can bend water around you using grip. Splash hands. Uh, with trigger you can splash your hands. Water barrage. It's just a barrage of water around you. Splash aura, there's a aura around you that splashes. Splash self, you you yourself get splashed. And punch mod, um, it only works if someone else punches you, but you get punched into oblivion. Fast monsters, so monsters inside of dungeon gets faster. Destroy monsters, it destroys them. Freeze monsters, it freezes them in place. We have projectile mods, so we have spammers. Oh, we have spammers. Sound mod, so custom sound spam. That doesn't work because I don't have custom sounds imported. Then we have random sound spam. Also doesn't work. I think I just got kicked actually, that's probably why. You can make presets here, so yeah. Uh, you can't make, but these are presets, so it's just basically easier. If you press this, it's easier to get to mods, uh, specific mods. Experimental mods, horror mode, blinding mode, cupid spam, icicle spam. Basically all this, but uh, most of these break snowballs, this one only works on red walls, and these two don't turn off. So you have to reset your game if you want to do that. And then, I'm guessing Sigmas only is for developers, so yeah, that is basically all that this mod menu has to offer. It's a great mod menu, it's free, and if you want to get it, I'll leave a link in the description for the Discord. Consider subscribing if you've watched all the way. You probably like me, like my videos, or you just like, or you just want to know what this can, what this mod menu can do. And you do now. So, if you did like the video, press like. It should be down there. And you can join my membership if you want to. You you don't have to, obviously, but if you want to, you can. I mean, I'm just saying. This. It's pretty cool. If you want to know the perks, it's on, it's in. If you press join, it'll show you the perks. So just do it. It helps all of us. And I'll see you in the next video, if there is one, hopefully. But yeah. Yadabadadoo. Bye bye. <laughs>